Tamil Nadu witnessed a terrible COVID-19 debacle in the month of May. The state was headed by an interim government all through April when the virus cases were steadily shooting up and the situation went out of control in May when the new government took over. Within 10 days, the daily count shot up from 20,000 to 30,000 cases in the first half of May. Chennai and its surrounding districts were the worst affected for the most part and later in the western districts the infection spread took place. In the first couple of weeks many people died from shortage of medical oxygen and ventilators. We saw COVID-19 patients in ambulances queuing outside hospitals awaiting beds. To look at uh, what happened before see the election commission had the election on April 6th and uh, decided to have the counting on May 6th and this is the peak time actually this is the time in which the in uh, surge really started so if you look at the uh, surging of cases uh, in the second wave uh, this is a very important time and during this time there was no administration in the state it was all handled by be, uh, being handled by the governor and uh, with the uh, officials so obviously this is a time that should have been really used to push you no know, uh, and Uh, if the counting had been done uh, uh, in april 8th or uh, uh, you know in the first week itself a new government could have taken over and uh, the new government could have pushed for uh, uh, making uh, you know implementation even before the surge started uh, and there's no reason for the election commission to have this long gap because uh, obviously the parties which are involved here have no stake in any other uh, state uh, other, uh, so uh, i think the first fault in the whole uh, uh, tamil nadu deaths and all uh, i will hold the election commission to blame soon after the dmk formed the government in the first week of may and stalin took over as the chief minister efforts were made to bring the situation under control however there was still a lack of clarity on how to control the infections and how to deal with the pressure on the health system the rush for medical oxygen remdesivir drug ventilators vaccines and rt pcr tests created havoc in the state the infrastructure to fight the infection kept growing but the number of infections also grew along with it constantly outgrowing the state's capacity to handle the pandemic The state was simultaneously imposing strict lockdowns in a phased out manner to control the spread of the infection. Uh letters were written to the government uh, to Modi uh, uh, minister uh, prime minister asking uh, the increase of allocation of oxygen uh, to the uh, to Tamil Nadu government and also importantly uh, the uh, no uh, finance minister uh, suggestion the finance minister Tamil Nadu finance minister suggestion uh anyway uh, tyagrajan suggestion that uh gst uh, you know whatever uh, the amount that has been pending from gst collection to the state should be given and uh, gst on essential covid items uh, should be removed uh, i think these are uh, very good uh, demands that have been put forward and uh, the uh, hopefully the center will not be uh, stuck like an ostrich and will uh, uh, respond sensibly to these uh, demands uh yeah and uh, of course uh, subsequently also uh, they have shown that uh, you know they have increased the amount of uh, hospital beds with cylinders available and uh, managed to get uh, more oxygen uh, uh, to the state and of course uh, you know uh, improved uh, the uh, you know local uh, uh, interactions uh they have uh, allowed uh, ngos to register themselves and in, in get involved in local interactions i know uh, people for example students from sfi who have been allowed to you know uh, work in uh, hospitals uh, wearing safety uh, pp kits uh, to render service so these are good measures involving the community involving the uh, uh, people in uh, fighting covid the lockdown as such was uh, uh, i mean it is uh, is still being badly handled uh, not as bad as earlier earlier it was mostly a police raj uh, and uh, now it's not uh, so bad uh, but uh, still the uh, problem is that uh, it is not being done in a logical uh, manner no for example opening shops uh, uh, before the i mean there was a small break uh, during the lockdown uh, uh, shops were open and then just before the more intense lockdown kicked off uh, they opened shops uh, saying but you know if you keep shops open uh, for a short time and expect everybody to go and buy then there will be a huge rush 
so uh, it, uh, more sensible would have been uh, you know uh, locality wise uh, getting people to uh, you know uh, in the local shops which are there some sort of a token system or some sort of a just as they did for the giving the 2000 rupees you no know, uh, uh, come up with a system where uh, people don't have to go on rush you no know, the shops can be open but uh, you allow only people who have uh, some uh, uh, token that is issued to be uh, you no know, some system that can be done you no know, uh, maybe token system will not be uh, uh, saying possible everywhere but uh, i'm saying a localized approach uh, should be taken you no know, these lockdowns uh, state wide lockdowns uh, city wide lockdowns are really not good no it should be more a containment strategy uh, locally and see for example in china uh, just as a thing so china now i just saw uh, has in guangdong that is a south uh, city southernmost city there uh, they have seen a sudden rise of cases of about a uh, few 5000 of something in that range no so immediately what they have done is they have uh, made uh, uh you no know, contain the people uh, have uh, some sort of a lockdown but not a total uh, lockdown where what they have done is they have done uh, they are doing testing uh, you know housewise testing so they are uh, closing down one area doing housewise testing uh, and so on so this is sort of thing that uh, should to be done no there is no point in just uh, telling everybody you stay at home and uh, uh, allowing uh, you know people to go uh, you know uh, it is okay getting passes and all that but uh, a better system is a localized uh, approach there were some positive changes towards the end of may the daily fresh cases and active cases saw a dip however what lies ahead is quite unclear with this last uh, extension of lockdown uh, the second wave also should be subsiding so hopefully for the third wave uh, we will be better off uh, and you know uh, do things better Uh, compared to what uh, we have done in the second wave second wave uh, yeah, because the handling with the central government uh, is been completely uh, uh, horrendous and uh, no handling uh, there has been complete uh, free for all uh, and uh, this uh, should be removed and hopefully you no know, state governments will also exert that muscle and uh, uh, tell the center that uh, you know they have to change their act and uh, Uh, state governments also should uh, follow decentralized uh, administration more